Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walters World. Today we're in Waterford, Ireland. And today I want to answer a question from some of our fans. They've written and said, Mark, it's my first time traveling and I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do when I get to that other country. Like, do, what documents do I need to have when, when I'm going to talk to the passport people? Look, first off, don't freak out if it's your first time flying abroad. One thing you make sure you always have, make sure you check to make sure you have that passport, okay? And make sure your passport's valid for at least six months after you arrive. Otherwise, they might turn you back, okay? So that's one thing. Now, the thing is, is what happens is when you land in the country you're coming to, it may be different where you're gonna go, whether you're going to the US, or the UK, or, or here in Ireland, or to China, and things like that, all right? So it's gonna be different, different ones, but there's some basic things that happen. One, you get your carry-on luggage and you get off the plane and you never can get back on the plane, or maybe you can, but don't think you can get back on the plane. Get your stuff, make sure you got all your things, and walk out. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna follow the signs to the customs official, or border control, or passport control. There's different names for it, okay, but basically it's passport control. And you're gonna follow that. And the thing is, is when you, when you get there, the only thing they really want to have is your passport. So have that ready, have that out. Don't like walk up and they say, your passport, no, oh, I got to search for it. No, have your passport ready. Now, some other documentation they might want, depending on one, where you're from, and also what country you're going to, is they might say, it's like, where are you going to be staying? You know, or, or you know, what are you going to be doing here? They're going to ask questions like that because they want to know, are you here for vacation, for work? Do you have money to support yourself? You can get questions like this. So make sure you have an idea of where you're going to be staying, how long you're going to be there for, when is your flight out, things like that. But most of the time, they just ask for the passport, then ask a few questions. Now, the documents that I would have with me to easily access in case they're going to ask me things, well, yes, I'd have my passport, but then I'd have my hotel confirmation showing where I'm staying, all right? And also, I'd have a printout of my flight, my return flight home. And if I have it on my, on my phone, I, I'll have that to show them from my phone, okay? So have those things there. Now, other places might ask, hey, I mean, this is one of the things, if you come from, uh, it's horrible, if you come from a, a poorer country, sometimes they're thinking you're going to a richer country, they're like, oh, you just want to stay here. We want to make sure you have money to be here. They might ask you to prove that you have the financial money for that. So you might need to have, you know, credit cards and stuff like that to show or the cash you have with you. And those things you always keep on you. You never check those things. And all these documents I'm talking about, these are things that are in your check, not your check bag, but your carry-on bags, okay? Because if you check any of this stuff, that's the stuff that disappears, so you need to have that. Now the thing is, your luggage that you checked that went under the plane, you don't get that until after you go through passport control. After passport control is usually right after that, boom, that's where your luggage is. And then you go get your luggage there and you leave. All right. Now, the thing is, if you're flying to the U.S., you're flying into the U.S. after the passport control, you've got to get your luggage. No matter if you have a connecting flight or not, you've got to get your luggage. And if you have a connecting flight, you go drop it off with the air airplane agent. So like you'll see a Delta sign there. You go give it to them. They recheck the bag to send it on to your next destination in the U.S. So there is an exception I want to talk about in terms of, you know, getting your luggage right after passport control and redoing and then rechecking it because that's a U.S. thing. And some other countries do that as well. Just so you know but if you're gonna be coming here to Europe a lot of times what will happen pretty much all the time what will happen is the, if you're gonna have a connecting flight in Europe okay like you're flying into Berlin from New York and then Berlin down to Munich let's say so what will happen is you'll fly into Berlin and you'll do your passport control in Berlin okay they'll stamp your passport there and do that you won't get your luggage then but then you'll go and get your connecting flight to Munich and then in Munich at the baggage claim that's where you go find your stuff okay so I hope I, that helps with that now once you're through passport control Control and you get your luggage some countries have you pass another sheet on to say what you have or they might scan your stuff again so keep your stuff in your bag when you're coming out of baggage claim just keep it together because also when you come out of baggage claim there's lots of people lots of confusion you want to have everything together so you can keep it calm and keep it together to find your taxi or your bus or whatever or your friend waiting for you have those things there so I hope that helps my first time travelers know some of the things they should know before they travel so they know what to expect when they get on that first plane ride and fly to London or they're flying to, to Beijing or they're flying to the US. You're getting off there and being like, what do I do? Now you're a little bit better prepared. So if you have other travel questions, please let us know because we want to help travelers, whether they're seasoned travelers that go see the world and want to really go crazy hardcore traveling or people that are just traveling for the first time that have simple questions like what documents do I need when we travel? We want to help you out. So put questions like that down in there. Also, ask these questions in uh, the YouTube search bar and put in Walter's World with it. We might already have videos that help out with some of these basic travel things. So I hope that can help. 
Anyway, if you like travel videos like this, honest travel videos that try to help travelers explore and learn better when they go abroad, please do subscribe to our channel. It means a lot to us, and we put out honest travel videos every Wednesday and Saturday to help travelers travel better. So I will say bye from Waterford, Ireland, and have a great time traveling if it's your first time or 501st time. Bye.